We now learn how to solve reverse percentage problems, and for that we're going to work through some examples, the first of which is shown in this tutorial. We're told, this year Mr. B teaches 30 periods a week, which is 20% more than last year. We're then asked how many periods a week did he teach last year. Now this is a typical reverse percentage problem, in which we're given the value of something after it's been either increased or decreased by a given percentage. Indeed, we're told how many periods Mr. B teaches a week, that's 30, after an increase of 20%. And we're being asked to find how many periods Mr. B used to teach. To solve any reverse percentage problem, we can follow three steps. The first step, step one, is to find the percentage multiplier that allows us to either increase or decrease by the given percentage. Well, in this case, we're looking for the percentage multiplier, which allows us to increase by 20%. So that would be 1 plus 20%. Remember, we add the percentage to 1 as soon as we're dealing with an increase. Now, that's equal to 1 plus 0 0.2, which equals to 1.2. And that's our first step done. We move on to step 2. And in step two, we have to write either the percentage increase or the percentage decrease equation. Now, in this case, we're dealing with a percentage increase, so we're looking for a percentage increase equation. Here's what I mean. If we go ahead and call the number of periods Mr. B used to teach, capital N, then we know that if we increase N by 20%, it has to equal to 30. In other words, if we multiply N by the multiplier we just found, that was 1, 0.2, then it has to equal to 30. And that's our second step done. This is our percentage increase equation. Step 3, we need to solve this equation for the unknown n. Well, looking at this, it's quite clear that n is being multiplied by 1.2, so to get rid of this 1.2, we have to divide the left-hand side by 1.2. And just as for any equation, whatever we do on one side, we have to do on the other. So we need to divide 30 by 1.2 as well. Now, on the left-hand side, that becomes n times 1.2 divided by 1.2, and that just leaves us with n, and that's equal to 30 over 1.2. And by all means, go ahead and check, but 30 divided by 1.2 leads us to n equals to 25. And we're done. We can state that last year Mr. B used to teach 25 periods a week. And there we have it. In our next tutorial we work through a second example in which we solve a reverse percentage decrease problem. So do make sure to watch that as well. For now though, that's it for this tutorial.